in today's video i will be showing you how to remove imperfections using the clone stamp tool in adobe photoshop these are the imperfections so if you can't find your clone stamp tool here just press s on your keyboard the clone stamp tool works in a way that you will need to sample a color closer to that acne or that blemish you want to remove like if i want to remove this i will need to sample or pick a color closer to this one I can't pick a color in an area that is having much light and then I paint on an area with less light. It won't go good. I will advise you to create a new layer when working with a clone stamp tool, but you could as well do everything on this background layer or your main subject. But the problem is you can't do any adjustment when it comes to maybe adding effects reducing opacity create a new layer by clicking on this plus icon you will get this new layer above your background subject this is the clone stamp tool come over here and select current and below if it is just current just current is when you want to paint only on the main layer so i can easily paint here but if i come to this layer one i can't paint here you see nothing is changing I think it's changing so that is how it works current and below if you want to increase or reduce your brush size press the bracket open and the bracket close or simply right click and increase the size here or you come over to this place and you increase your brush size Make sure the hardness is zero the opacity is 100 it's 100 you can reduce that later depending on your outcome by reducing the opacity of your brush or of the layer that you painted so i will set that to 100 the flow to 100 hold down alt to pick a color closer to that portion like this and then you simply paint over that part like that do same pick a color here because this part this part is too bright you can't pick a color here like this then you click like this same here same here same here if i paint here i'm painting black which is not what supposed to be done so i need to sample the color closer to that portion and do that so i will speed up this process to save time this is the before and the after if i want to increase or reduce the opacity the opacity here is 69 percent i just click and drag it to be 100 percent or i reduce it if i want to reduce the opacity of uh, the blemishes this is 100 means that it is taking full control so that is why you need to create a new layer if you want to get on a more detailed discussion on how to retouch this type of blemishes make sure you check our video link in the description or you use the youtube time card for reference if you enjoy watching this video don't forget to like this video don't forget to comment don't forget to subscribe and hit on the bell so that you won't miss anything thanks for watching